Welcome back to the um, second tutorial on cloud count. Um, in the first tutorial, uh, I gave some basic information about uh, compatibility in terms of browsers, uh, the URL, and um, how to log in. And we created, um, um, I'm sorry, we actually looked at um, some features on the, uh, the cloud count application. Um, and then uh, we created a budget. So what we're going to do today, we're just going to repeat that uh, very quickly. Um, and then we'll go on and show you how to, to modify the budget um, and, um, and, and, um, and what more we can do from there. Okay, so I'm just going to click here as we did before, um, which will um, start uh, Cloud Count going and um, have it launched from the cloud to the desktop and then I'm going to log in just as before and um, and then I come here to the to the cloud count uh, what we call the dashboard and you could see here that uh, I uh, had created a, a budget uh, from um, before, from the last time uh, we came in. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and add some lines to this budget. So I'm going to go to um, Admin, Budget, uh, Modify. Now this uh, generates a, a pop-up here that, uh, that shows the budgets that we have uh, in the system so far. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead here and I'm going to, uh, if I double click on that particular budget, uh, I get another pop-up that brings me right back to um, the, the uh, panel that allows me to update information about uh, the budget. You can see here that I set the title from the last time I set the description. We talked about how to set the to and the from and to dates with these calendar buttons here. We talked about the weekly role. So what I want to do now is just um, uh, add a, uh, a line on the, uh, on the income side. So to do that, I, click the, um, I just click the, the, the plus button here. And you'll notice that it actually pops up. Uh, I'm sorry, it, it inserts a line into the income side. And um, it has a default line number of uh, 10. It has no sublines in it yet. And, um, and it has a name um, and, of course, a budgeted amount. So what I'm going to do, if I want to change the name, I just double-click in that field. And let's say, um, let's put in uh, a name here, uh, some name for it. Um, um, and since this is, since, so I just type this in, so I hit Enter, and then that, that um, uh, sets it. Um, you'll notice here that I still have no sublines. So in order to, uh, to add some sublines, I, can, I double click that, that, um, that row. And the thing is I have to click it, I have to double click not in the name field, but any place other than the name field. And then this pops up and allows me to, um, uh, to, to create a, a subline. Um, and to add a subline, I do something just as I did before with lines. I click the, uh, the plus uh, button here, and I have a subline number one. And then I'll, I can put in, um, um, just by um, double-clicking in the name field, um, it allows me to edit uh, that name field. And then um, I can type in um, a name there. So I'm going to put the uh, morning... Uh, so I put in a name there, and again, I click, um, I, I must hit um, the Enter key, which uh, inserts the information uh, in, and then I click Save to uh, save that information away, and then you can see here that I have uh, one subline. Um, I can uh, double-click here again, and notice it pops it up with that uh, information that I left in there before, so I could add another subline here. 
I can say put in a new subline. Um, and you'll notice here that that, uh, upon hitting enter, that goes in and saves this info uh, right in the name field. Now you'll notice these little bars here. Um, these are not currently set uh, to uh, a, well, they're set to the default width, but, um, but you can adjust those widths. You can see here that when this is actually uh, too short, the field is too short to hold the information that's in that field, it actually gives a dot, dot, dot. Um, but you could adjust that uh, field width there, and you'll notice that, that this uh, slider bar uh, you know, pops up and allows us to move around that particular dialog. So if I go ahead and save that, um, then that uh, has given me uh, two sublines. And uh, we could do the same thing on the expenditure side, um, but it's uh, pretty much identical. Um, but the key thing right now is that although I've entered um, uh, two uh, uh, sublines, um, and again, I can, if I click in the line number field, I can change that line number, but I don't want to do that right now. So I'm just going to click in the subline and field and show you that there are two, still two sublines in here. Um, and, um, but this is not saved yet. Um, it's only stored locally um, on this particular workstation. Um, and, and in order to save it so it persists, um, I need to click Save here, and that stores all that budget information away. And then um, it's stored and it's, it's done there. So I'm going to open this up again and go back in and show you that it's still there. Two sublines. Uh, one, I mean, two sublines for the offerings line, and then if I double click in the subline fields, you could see here I have two sublines associated with that, that particular line. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, end it there at this, um, at this time, and, um, and then uh, we'll pick up from here the next time. Stay tuned.